crap. 20 minutes. So when you have like 18 hours of you know layover, you're just gonna explore a little bit. But <laughs> we booked to a hotel, I mean sorry, a cafe, but the driver seems to have dropped dropped us off at a at a wrong location. So no, I see I see the grab cafe is correct. So yeah, we're just gonna find something to eat around here. Oh, that's a lovely view though. Take a look. International Airport and now we off to Bali let's go and we're late <laughs> so this video is about like you know se having 17 hours of layover in a different country because something screwed up so anyway that 17 hours in Kuala Lumpur KL is it was amazing uh, I think we really had a you know we had around maybe seven hours 10 hours is most likely on transport waiting for boarding waiting to board the airplane and yeah sleep so yeah so one thing that i want to mention you guys that so before i booked the flight i mean when when i was booking the flight i rushed into it i didn't read all the terms and connection condition and yeah, I just went with it. I was so excited. I was um, fed up with SIA because I couldn't get a proper refund. 
and yeah so it was like a really rushed decision for me to like just purchase on a go without you know doing proper research and uh, properly planning out and booking it but I just want to give you guys a warning this is a really really good warning <laughs> or a lesson so the flight wasn't cheap it was it wasn't cheap at all like I think we paid around three four hundred for back to back and for Bali but but the only thing is that I bought it way too early and yeah if you were to bought it you know one or two weeks prior I think you could have gotten it so much cheaper I think my friends who went there they got it for like 150 back and forth so yeah that's one thing the other thing is yeah when you guys are buying a budget airline yeah please do check for the terms and condition properly because number one we didn't get a direct flight they shifted us to a transit hence the 17 hours layover in KL and second of all that was that was okay I mean first of all that was okay for us because you know we get to go to another country explore you know have fun it's all right right but the second one the, like coming back to Singapore that was the, the that was like a total disappointment for me so they email us late and they changed they changed the flight timing to like morning 9 a.m and you gotta be there like 7 a.m to check in and stuff so we actually book like an evening flight so that no we can still have, take our time have some lunch in Bali and then go back to Singapore you know slow and easy but yeah like th there's just too many changes so yeah when you guys are booking a budget airline just just check through everything don't be like me don't be that don't be an idiot like me just check through everything and yeah book properly so yeah a good 17 hours I would say but yeah not the experience that I want to face again but we never know travel travel now has like changed and yeah it's, it's interesting so we'll see how it goes for the future travels anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna end the video and I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye guys